Hello, everyone. Hi, Jacques. Hi, Emery. All the way from Lyon, France. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, thank you for those who came early. If you haven't been here before, we're doing a fundraiser for Caritas of Austin. We go to that little table and they can tell you all about it. We raffle off gift cards from local businesses. And we'll be here till eight and our first guest is Jimmy Joe Natoli. <laughs> But he worked hard and loved and he gave thanks and he gave praise and he lived a life without regret back in the olden days. In the months that followed after grandpa died, we drank too much and laughed a little more than we cried. Grandma told us how he couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Now she would knit the sweaters while grandpa spun the yarn. She would knit the sweaters while grandma Thank you very much. All right, this next one's gonna be totally different. Is that music coming from here? Is it this next door? I figured. Yep. All right, that's normal for this week. This is a true story that I made up. And it's uh, based on some true stories that my uncle made up. And if you knew my uncle, you would know what I was talking about. A 
lightning rod was running whiskey always knew the job was risky set out to find the fastest car around he got a name from a guy he knew so there's only one man i'd send you to that's mickey the mechanic on the other side of town Rod went to Mickey's shop, said I need a car that'll dust the cops. Mickey said, how much you willing to spend? They agreed on a price in cash, of course. Mickey charged him by the horse, half up front, half on the other end. Mickey said, now nah, don't be shy, she'll do 110 in the blink of an eye. But you have to break her and slow your break her down. Rod forked over a wad of cash, he loaded up his liquid stash, and he grinned at that low and rumbling sound. The night was cool out there in the hills, a hooch was hot right off the still. He fired up that beast, ready for flight. He was wound up the hour late, he ignored advice and tempted fate, floored the pedal and sped off into the night. In all the years he's been running lightning, Rod never drove a car so frightening, he took Dead Man's Curve at 95. But Mickey built that rocket right, the tires held the pavement tight, he prayed he'd make it to the other side alive. Oh, Mickey the mechanic, he's known to stir a panic, run the shop on the other side of town. Built a car, cops with fear, does 75 in second gear. I'll run the devil when you lay that hammer down. Late that night, Mickey had a visit before he could even say who is it. The law damn near busted down his door. Mickey said, what can I do for you men? The shop is closed and it's after 10, so how about telling me what this intrusion is for? The law said, Mickey, your problem's arisen, and if you want to stay out of prison, I suggest you listen up and hear me good. Aiden and abetting's a serious crime, we'll send you up for some serious time for the voodoo that you do underneath the hood. The lawman said we need a car and one will outrun them all By far we'll even pay a fare to get it right So Mickey listened to a spiel Said mister you got yourself a deal I have one here you can drive away tonight Oh Mickey the mechanic He's known to stir a panic Runs a shop on the other side of town Built a car, boot layers fear Does 85 in second gear I'll run the devil when you lay that hammer down Well, Rod felt the recoil as the dashboard light shine the word oil on a cloud of smoke fill it off from under the hood. Oh, lightning took the panicking because he didn't know a thing about mechanicking and he wouldn't spin a wrench even if he could. On a bend, that engine threw a rod. Rod started believing in God as the back end lost control in an oil slick. The car spun out about 10 times. He could say a turn on a bucket of dimes and slam it to a cypress tree down by the creek. The car came to rest in a bog, and Rod came to in a fog when he heard something trickling out down by the trunk. He climbed out, crawled underneath, caught a stream of liquor between his teeth. He was well on his way to getting stone cold drunk. It doesn't matter in the end if he heard the law coming round the bend, barreling on through that oily haze. The lawman hit that oil patch and his tires never had a chance to catch. They crashed head on into a fiery blaze. The news made its way to town and Mickey closed the shop right down. He wheeled his own hot rod out the garage. Made from parts not found on a shelf. He saved the fastest car from himself. Left the cloud of dust as he hightailed it out of Dodge. Oh, Mickey the mechanic, he's known to stir a panic. Runs a shop on the other side of town. Built a car everybody feared. Does 95 in second gear. I ran the devil when he laid that hammer down.
Thank you. All right, I'm going to put on a different hat now. Do a song by my alter ego, Mr. Bus Driver Man, sir. And uh, I've got a bus driver friend here, another singing bus driver man. And uh, I've got a, one of my bu Mr. Bus Driver Man CDs over in the raffle, and I think we have a couple of them over on, at the table. But this one's a sing-along. It's a story of the owl and the lion. So you get to sing along with the owl. Does anybody know what the owl likes to say? He only has one word in his vocabulary. So you can figure it out. Here we go. A mighty lion went for a stroll through the forest to his favorite fishing hole. He said, I'm the king of the jungle. It's true. A voice from a treetop branch says, Boo. That's your part. Here we go. Boo. A lion looked around north, south, west, and east. Who dares to question the king of all beasts? I'm fierce and strong and ferocious too. A voice from a treetop branch said, Boo. What did he say? Boo. The lion grew angry, said, How can this be? All the other animals in the jungle fear me, for I'm the greatest hunter. That's what I do. A voice from a treetop branch said, Come out and show yourself One who's perched way up high on that shelf The lion's anger grew and grew A voice from a treetop branch said Ooh. Ooh. The lion said, you! That is who from the branch the owl watched the lion stew The lion said, I'm leaving I'm through with you. A voice from a treetop branch said, Ooh. 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 A voice from a treetop branch said, Ooh. Thank you to all the owls out there. And thank you all for being here, and don't forget the uh, donation bucket and the raffle and all that good stuff. And we had a great day. I, I run sound for the, the soup kitchen version of our thing, and uh, Laura puts on down at Caritas. We had a pretty incredible day yesterday. All right, here we go. And this is a song that was inspired by a homeless man that I met. I was walking down the street a long time ago in Austin. I yeah. <clears throat> met this man who had a guitar. And I asked him if he had a song, and he had a song, and he asked me if I had a song, and I had a song. So we played songs back and forth and traded stories. And this is um, my attempt at telling his story retelling his story. I'm not just the guy who tried to bum some change from you yesterday out on the street. And I'm not just the guy sifting through the trash today just to find something to eat. I'm a human being, I have heart and I have soul 
I don't own a house or car, but I know I'm not alone. I have a story I hold no one to blame. It may not be like yours, but it's a story just the same. in love we were grateful for each other she was my best friend long before she was my lover the street took its toll sickness took my love from me now sometimes it hurts so bad i just can't see i'm not just the guy with a broken heart and twisted face standing in the rain and I'm not just the guy with alcohol on his breath But a drink might dull the pain Don't be ashamed if you turn away when I turn to you I understand you have a story too Makes me laugh until it hurts I'd really like to know Do you, do you have any friends like you? Someone who cares, smiles when she sings, 
always speaks her mind, but not so that it stings. Some woman who can make me blush when she flirts, makes me laugh until it hurts. I'd really like to know, do you? Do you have any friends like you? Do you have any friends like you? Do you have any friends like you? Like you. Thank you. I've got one more. This is an instrumental tune called Romani Blue. That features my, my bandmate Lupita. Lupita, the loop pedal. She's going to hold down the rhythm for me.
Thank you so much. All right, everyone, that's Jimmy Joe Natoli. In addition to this benefit concert, we I host a South by Soup Fest at the Soup Kitchen. And Jimmy Joe's been running down there for more years than I can remember. So at thank least you. 79 years. At least 79 years. That's a long Woo! time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. So if you've just arrived, my name's Laura. I'm a booking agent, Combo Plate Booking. We're raising money for s the Soup Kitchen at Caritas of Austin. We're gonna, we have donations from local businesses, mostly restaurants, but there's a hairstylist, Folk Potions, is another business by Raina Rose, she's playing later. And after each artist plays, they're gonna leave, the next artists are gonna come on the stage while I'm talking, and then we're gonna raffle off gift, um, gift cards. So if you hear your name, you go back to the table and you can choose the one you want. And the last person I named is going to, Jimmy Joe is a kid's CD, so you'll get a kid's CD. So we're going to do six gift cards and one. No. <laughs> All right, Jimmy Joe, can you be my drawer? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, number one. <laughs> All right, Annie, oh, Anne Marie, you want a gift card. Are you still here? Go to John and Tanya. Number two. <laughs> Let's do that one. They sell out. All right. Jim Carroll. <laughs> All right. Number, number three. Shosky. Shosky. Shosky, are you still here? Turn around and pick up your prize. Turn around and go back to that table. Number four. All right, Jim Carroll. You can win up to twice per time. That means Jim bought $10 worth of tickets. Jim, you won twice. Number, what number am I on? Five. <laughs> Trish Roach. Yay! You won. Are you Trish? Yay! Turn around and go to that table. Number six. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Virginia Edge. You are number six. And the next person, Virginia, turn around and go to that table. Turn around. Next person's going to win the CD. Sorry, we're pulling Jim again. Jim, you can only win twice, just FYI. <laughs> Wally, do you want the kids' CD? Do you got a child in your life? Do you want the kids' CD? Have it. All right, that's number round number one. <laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> all right, everybody. So thanks for all those donations. What we do, because people come and leave, we toss these after each artist, and then we start again. So next up is Curtis McMurtry. Don't leave.
that's a John Hartford song. Is it Diana's microphone that's feeding back? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah way down. Let's, let's bring that way down if that's cool. Two, one, check, 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 one, two, two, three, one, two, four, one, two. Cool. Wonderful. Thanks. Uh, my name is Curtis McMurtry. This is Diana Burgess playing cello and singing. Very happy to be here at South by Soup Fest. I forget how many years Laura has let us do this, but we hope it's many more. Thank you, Laura Thomas. tell people up front we only play sad songs and mean songs. We'll lean towards the mean songs for a daytime set, I think. Sad times are for night. I will say, if you don't get enough of the sad songs and mean songs during our set today, our official South by so Showcase is tonight at the Saxon, Saxon Pub at 10 p.m. where we'll have a fiddle and upright bass with us tonight as well, so full chamber string quartet experience. I'm gonna do one of Diana's songs now. This is the title track of Diana's record. It's called You Run. Your voice 
The song is called Devour the Divine. Always I have attracted trouble. Wouldn't change it if I could. Sheath your claws and save your scolding. My God knows that I'm no good. I can't be contained by judgment. Try to burn me at the stake. This next song, I have to prepare the guitar a bit, which entails weaving a metro card between the strings up near the ridge, make it sound a bit like trash can percussion. <laughs> Might have to bring it up just a hair. Tell ourselves 
Till the wind wears it away. So the next album that I am releasing in the fall is all instrumental and all the tracks are based on different North American wildlife. Um, so I'm gonna do one of those songs now. Um, if y'all want, you can guess which animal this is supposed to represent. Um, I think it'll be fun. guesses as to what animal, any North American animal that could represent? It is a kind of cat. Think bigger. Bigger cat. Did you say cougar? Yes, you're right. Yeah, you win. Amazing. Nice. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Y'all are too smart for this. Uh, this next song is called Lover Will Never Be Friends.
feel about billionaires? Just curious. Yeah, huge thumbs down. I'm gonna ask that again and I expect more venom. How do y'all feel about billionaires? Yeah. Awful. Uh, this, is a, this is a song about billionaires and dragons. It's called Last in Line. Thank you. 
one is not ours. <laughs> Laura, would you like one or two more? Seven minutes? That's like seven of our songs. We'll do two, though. We'll factor in the breakdown. Oop. I think the microphone's feeding back again. Just my head? We have an auction for Kerrville tickets. A raffle over here you can enter in order to procure them. It's an auction, not a raffle. I need like a I need a teleprompter, Laura. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> I've done this like ten years and I still don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I'll give a shiny dollar to any person that can tell me who wrote this song, not who made it famous, but who wrote it without looking it up on their wizard device. You don't get to cheat. It's an honor system, but I'll give you a whole dollar. For anyone that knows. I got your picture that you gave to me, and it's still signed with love, just like it used to be. The only thing different, the only thing new, is I got your picture. Who gets a shiny dollar? Does anyone know who wrote it? Not who made it? No. She made it super famous. It was written for her, but Patsy actually didn't write many songs at all. That song was written by Hank Cochran, who wrote a bunch of other hits for Patsy Cline, too, none of which I can remember in this moment. But I, I remember he wrote others for her as well. Hank Cochran, ton of country hits at the time. Thanks so much for listening. Um, once again, my name is Curtis McMurtry. This is Diana Burgess. Uh, if you want more cello, guitar, sad songs, and mean songs, we're all over the place this week. Just look us up on the old Instagram. And our, our showcase tonight is at Saxon Pub at 10 o'clock. We'll have a full band with us. It'll be a lot of fun if you want to go down that way. This last song is our spite pop song. It's called Wrong Inflection.
easy to so much. <laughs> Stay right here. I think Michael Fracasso is up next. Oh, Michael Fracasso and J.N. Stevens up next. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone. That's Curtis McMurtry and Diana Burgess. They sounded amazing. Thanks for volunteering. All the musicians today are volunteering their time and to help us raise money for the soup kitchen and the food pantry and food services program at Caritas. And we have a very special guest. He's the chef from Caritas, Yay! Joe Green. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out and supporting the food services department. Uh, your donations and your contribution are critically important, especially given that last month we served almost 10,000 meals in the month of February. So, yeah, 10,000 meals between all food services. So, thanks for the help, everybody. Uh, that, I didn't even know that, so thank you. So, the deal is you buy a raffle ticket, and then you can get a gift card from one of these amazing local places, ABGB, Azul Tequila, Blue Bonnet, Bavaria, Doc's Backyard, El Dorado, Folk Potions, Guerra's, Joe's Coffee, Laura, Magnolia Cafe, Masa y Mas, Meanwhile Brewing, Meanwhile, uh, Moonshine Grill, Nomade, Radio Coffee, Beer, and Radio East, and the Soup Peddlers. So those are your things you can win. And then I've been very neglectful. The Kerrville Folk Festival donated two sets of weekend tickets for two people. And so those are an auction. So the value is between $312 to $408 or something. And then it's for two people. The starting bid is $150. And then if you win, it's in it's May 23rd to June 7th. And people like Alejandro Escovedo, Ray Wiley Hubbard, Sue Foley, um, Flamey Grant, I don't know, so many, Daryl Scott. Anyway, I can't even read them all. There's too many. So go check it out. There's a little flyer, and that's where you sign up to make a bid. We have two sets. We're going to give, hopefully someone will make a bid, and then we're going to do one and midway through the day, and then we'll do put up the clipboard with the second one later. <laughs> Woo! All right, so now we're going to do six gift cards, and then we're going to do a Curtis McMurtry CD. So here we go. Number one, Joanna, help me count. Okay, 
Jim, I think it says Jim Harrison or Ann Harrison. I can't read. Someone Harrison. Is that you? All right. You can go to that table right there. Number two. Schwaski, you won, you, you've donated twice. All right, go where you went last time and get another gift card. I recommend Blue Bonnet Barberia. They do hair, amazing haircuts if you live in town. Number three. Tom Larkin, all the way from Nicaragua. Dude, turn around and go to John. Number four. <laughs> you can come up here and dance for us. Totally do it. Totally do a dance. Okay. Oh, there we go. Four? Number four. Will, how do we say? Real Rocco something. Real Rocco Bosa. Real Will? Will R. <laughs> Will Rocco somebody? He's not here. Will. Going oh. twice. Will Rocco something. Okay. What am I on? Five? This is, this is four. Okay, we're still on number four. Number four. <laughs> Tim Hartle. Tim Hartle. All right, you can go to that table and pick out a gift card. I recommend Blue Bonnet, Barbaria, and Folk Potions. Number five. <laughs> Joanna Castillo, the official counter. <laughs> Number six. This is a last gift card, and then we'll do Curtis's CD. Pick one of the kids. Come on, pick one of the kids. <laughs> pick one of the kids. It's Kelly Cotton Rutowski. You won, and he did. We did not rig it. You won. That was number six. <laughs> Yeah, he had no idea, and I didn't either. I just knew the kids had tried two times in a row. This person now is going to win the Curtis McMurtry come CD, You Come to Me. And that is for Janelle Ver Verks. Janelle Verks, are you here? You want a CD? All right, everyone, please stay around. J.M. Stevens and Michael, Michael Fracasso are going to do it in the round set. Thanks, y'all. All right. Oh, I think we're ready to begin, right? Yes? All right. I got a nervous mind.
and J.M. Stevens. Uh, yeah. A little more to the, the, the face box, if you can. And, and guitar. This is a song about realizing that moving on from something ain't all you thought it was cracked up to be. So you want to stop doing that. And this song is called Stop Moving On. Thank you so very, very much. Stevens. I'm going to do a song uh, that was off of my last released album. Uh, this is called The Devil's Dealing. Sometimes that's what you get.
Hey, I want to just give it, before I get going on this next song, just give it up to Laura Thomas for putting this on every year. And everybody volunteering here is super cool, especially among all the, all the glut that is South by Southwest. Throw some money in that raffle box. It's going to a wonderful cause to help folks in need. Um, I got a new album coming out April 12th. It's called Nowhere to Land. And so I'm going to play the first song that's going to be on that album. This is called Dry Creek. This is about finding hope in hard times. Thanks so much, y'all. At the factory, at the factory, did you find that I won? Gave us a mix to nothing, told us we were done.
Okay, yes, thank you, Laura. Laura just reminded me, we, we, do you have merch for sale? I do have merch we for sale. We have merch for sale. Merch for sale, step yes. right up. This is another one that's going to be on my new album. This is about that thing when you're wondering about what it's going to be like if you run into them and there was somebody else. And yeah, you think you'd be a bummer, but maybe you'd wish them the best. This is called Someday I Will See You. Thank you so much. I'm going to uh, finish with a, a cover song. It was my favorite Irish sounding song. It was written by a, a Scot, <laughs> Ewan McCall. But uh, I guess if you go to Ireland, this is like in every bar they play this song so it's called dirty old town
I found my love near the guesswork cross, and I dreamed a dream by the old canal. Kiss my girl, gets a fat green Dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old. Thank you, Laura. That's great. My daughter's here today, and I don't know when the last time she saw me play was, but I'll tell you this. One time I do remember was here many years ago playing in a rock and roll band, and she was really little, and she was standing up there, and after I got done, she looked at me. I was jumping around and stuff. She goes, what were you doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, that reminded me of this song uh, that she did inspire. She might not remember this, but it was one of those nights when it hadn't rained in like six months, you know, and in the middle of the night, the thunder comes so loud that it shakes the whole house up, you know, and, and the next morning she comes in there and she goes, uh, did you hear that thunder last night? I was like, yeah, I did. How can I not? She goes, yeah, it got me, it's got me really shook up. You know, I don't think I can go to school today. And I was like, hey, that's pretty good. They're obviously teaching you something. Anyway, so she inspired th this song. It's a song about just uh, pushing through the day when you don't feel like it, just making the rounds. This song is called Making the Rounds. Yeah. 
so much, y'all. Thanks to Laura for having us here today. Awesome to jam with Michael Fercasso. Have a great rest of your South By. Well, I do have some fancy deluxe cards. Uh, if anybody sees me about, if you'd like one, I've got links to all my music and such. Ooh, one of the smartest things fancy. I've done. Fancy. We're also going to give away one of his vinyl records and then also one of Michael's CDs. So don't leave. I have a celebrity guest. We really like to try to support our music friends. This is David Newbold. He's got one show, a couple shows. He's got some shows he's going to tell you about. Four more shows this week. So everyone, one more round of applause for JM and Michael. All right, and then help me welcome David. Hello. Thank you, Laura, for this opportunity. To tell people about where I'm playing. <laughs> well, if you're in, down in Martindale, Tonight, around San Marcos, I'll be playing there at 8 with, uh, with the pride of Terlingua, Texas, uh, Sarah Burton. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I'll be at uh, Giddy Ups uh, in town this Friday at 3. I'll be at Tex Pop ATX for Penny Joe Pulis' showcases at 2 on Saturday. And I'll be at the porch down in San Marcos on uh, Friday night. So come see me play if you like. I recommend Giddy Ups. It's in Manchac. It's a mile from my mom's house. It's amazing. <laughs> One more reminder. We've got two sets of Kerrville tickets that have been donated. You get to pick whatever weekend you want to go. After the next artist, which is Beaver Nelson, then we're going to give, we're going to um, call that auction it's an auction that clipboard right now the highest bid is for 175 and the they're worth over 300 bucks they're worth 300 to 400 dollars depending on which weekend you choose so check it out alejandro escovedo ruthie foster i don't know everyone's playing so go look at that piece of paper or you can come back here and we have one at the table and all the money is going to Caritas. We're raising money for Caritas, the soup kitchen, and the food pantry. I saw Shannon from Kerrville. I'll have her come up the next time and help me draw the ticket. All right, we're going to draw six gift cards. Here we go. Number one. Say their name. Matthew Payne. Right over here. My buddy. No, he's right over here. Oh, yeah. To the back, Matthew. Yay! All right, number two. If you hear your name, go to the table. Jessica Segoria. Jessica Segoria. Head to the back table. Jessica, are you here? Jessica Segoria. All right, number three. Dan. And Lisa Fredine. I don't know, because it's two people. <laughs> it's not cheating. You could put two people's names. Y'all won. Go pick out a gift card. Number four. Number four. <laughs> ben Klein? Kleiner? Kleiner. Kleiner. I know Ben. Ben Kleiner. There he is. All right. I used to work with his wife at Caritas. That, that's how far I go back. Number six. So Jessica Segovia, you won two because that means you bought two tickets. Jessica. You won twice. Sorry, everyone. But now we got a vinyl and a CD. All right, the first person, if you hear your name, come forward, and you are going to win Michael Fercasso. Kairos. Karen? Uh, Karen? Karns. This is your card. Are you here, Karns? C-A-I-R-N-S? Is that you? Come up here, you won Michael's CD. Yay! All right, 
the next person you want vinyl. If you don't have a record player and you don't want it, you can tell me, but you should take it because it's amazing. The winner is Guido. Guido. Guido, is there a Guido? Oh, do you, rec do you see him? Guido, are you here going once? Must be present to win. Guido, come forward. You did not win a gift card. You won a vinyl record. He needs to come here. All right, everyone. Thank David for helping me. Thank you. Have a good day.
Michael Picasso and Nathan Hamilton, you know. Yeah. I put out a record this last June that I was lucky enough to have a, my daughter play on and my, and, my, and my son. He was not playing drums on that record. It was not the instrument he wanted to play, but he played some beautiful cello on it. And uh, I'm not sure if Mike's here tonight or this afternoon. It's not nighttime, is it? I can't tell with these glasses on whether. It's still daytime, right? Okay. Uh, anyway. I don't know if Mike's here today, but it's a record that wouldn't exist without Mike Middleton and, uh, and Matt Giles. So I wanted to say those names out loud in front of you. Anyway, there's a, this is a title track on that. CD.
Katie Nelson, yo. That's Jack back there on the drums. Jack Nelson. I'm gonna do a Ronnie Lane song here. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. Seemed just so wildly appropriate today.
Johnny Lane, yo. This is the last call for, to make a bid on the first set of tickets to Kerrville, right? Weekend of your choice. Weekend of your choice. We're currently at 175, but they're working on the weekend. So they're working over 300. Okay, what I'm, what I'm hearing, the, the word on the street is that the street value is over $300, and we have a bid of 175 so far. So if you're going to go anyway, it, you might as well. You might as well buy now. Get in early. Get in on the ground floor, people. And I just want to say what a treat it is to be able to play here for somewhere approaching year 20. I, I might have missed one in the middle, but my kids were always here passing that tip jar around. So y'all. Y'all, um, it's just very strange to be playing here with them and, and, uh, and a real treat. Lots of old friends out here today. Happy to see y'all. And uh, anyway, thanks for supporting Caritas and Laura all these years. Yeah. Anyone who's out and about on Saturday, I play, uh, or Saturdays, I should say. I play at the Continental Gallery uh, like this usually as a duo every, uh, every Saturday from 8.30 to 10. So it's, uh, it's early enough that old people can go out and feel like they went out. And it's, uh, it's, it's uh, I guess it's not as late enough for that. I don't know. I can't even remember what I'm supposed to say. But young people can go to it on the way to wherever it was they actually wanted to go, you know. It's wet on the hilltop. Can listen. 
That's right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Jack, Katie, Nathan, Michael. Y'all, thanks so much. I want to be 11 again. want to believe in heaven again. I want to 
touched the face of the unknown It was with me all day, God give We give it away All the hand that I would hold And the hand I wanted to All the stories I was told Never doubted they were true in the ditch where I would go Whenever I was sad All the things I did not know The nightmares I never had I don't want to be eleven again want to believe in heaven again Within my own Touch the face of the unknown It was with me all day God We give it away Thank you so much. Katie, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you off duty. Hey, thank you all so much for being here. You told me not to go. You told me not to go. Then I watched you go. That's little brother blue. Walking down that path In our Sunday pants You told me not to tap To the devil's dance Well come Friday night With your aftershave You said morning light Fish all day. Oh, you told me not to go. You told me not to go. Then I watched you go. That's little brother blue. My bait was good. Yes, it was. Strong was my line. Back up through the woods. For supper time I in my search Shaking your bed Showed you my perch You pat my head Oh, you told me not to go You told me not to go Then I watched you go Little brother blue When that 
sun was through and the moon would rise, you would tell me to. And I would close my eyes. Oh, but I would not sleep. No, I daydream at times. Oh, when I would walk these streets, one step behind. Oh, you told me not to go. Little brother of blues So walking down that path Katie Nelson on violin. I'm Beaver Nelson. Thank you to Michael and Nathan again. Thank you, Laura. Thanks so much. full circle. Yeah. So we are going to do this one. Uh, yeah. Give it another 15. Yeah. Seconds. You're hired. Come every year and you could be you on stage. <laughs> All right. We're doing the first. So we got two sets of tickets from Kerrville donated. And the first one, we've got two bids. They were at 175. We wanted to ask if anyone wants to make a last minute bid. And I've got Shannon Holt from the festival here with a special announcement. They're gonna also offer a very special part of the fest. Is that on? So um, we decided that we were gonna go ahead and like sweeten the deal. Yeah. And Woo! in case you would rather come to our Eclipse event in April, we would do that instead of the Kerrville Folk Festival. So in we case got, you didn't know, Kerrville's like right in the center. We are, yeah, Path of, of Totality. We've got four and a half minutes of total darkness in the middle of the day coming up. It's going to be very cool. So the Kirk um, clips, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Right. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we've got Golden Dawn Orchestra playing a full set for the Eclipse. Um, and then it's very bluegrass heavy. We've got Big Richard, Dam Quails, uh, Jomo and the Possum Posse, Lost Pines are all playing. But then also we've got Jack Barksdale and the Bros Fresh and Good Looks and... The stacks are playing, so it's going to be really great. <laughs> Albert and Gage, Rebecca Loby, yeah. So we've got a stack lineup for that as well. So, so you, you can pick that. Yeah, if you if want you to pick that. Prefer. Or one of the three, one weekends, of the three weekends of at Kerrville. The, at the, in May, June. Right. Bid now, because after this, we're cutting this one off, and then we're going to do the second set of tickets. So I'm going to put it there over. and make a bid if you want. Yeah, it's only up to what did you say 175? What a deal. It's really like I mean it's a it's a 280 to 500 dollar value. Um, so That's cuz if you want to go to the Eclipse event in April or any of the three weekends of the Kerrville Folk Festival May 23rd through June 9th, um, place your bid and we'll hook you up. Thanks for supporting Caritas. Yes. And thank you Shannon for making this generous donation. 
So now Shannon's going to be my celebrity guest. Yes. We're drawing six gift cards for local restaurants. You can see the list over there. I'm not going to bore you with that. And then the seventh person will come forward and you get Beaver Nelson's latest CD. All right, number one. All right, Matt Forrester, are you here? Hello. Matt is here. You won. Go to that table. Oh. <laughs> All right, Eric Quinn, number two. Matt. Matt, go to that table and pick your gift card. Eric Quinn, are you here? You are. Go to the table and pick out your gift card. I recommend the barber shop, Blue Bonnet Barberia. <laughs> He's won. So this guy, Shosky, third time to win. Whoa. He's been buying lots of tickets. Shosky, are you here? I don't know if he's still here. Shosky, going once. Shosky, black t-shirt, I saw you earlier. He's not here, sorry Shosky. You already won twice. We're in number three. <laughs> he's gonna show up later. All right, John Galindo, you won. Right. Turn around, go to the gift table. Number four. Cara, <laughs> Cara, C A R A. Cara, are you still here? Cara, going once. Cara, going twice. She's not here. I don't know. Joanna is keeping count. We're still on number four. <laughs> JJ. JJ, you won. Go back to that table. I recommend. Oh, there's too many. <laughs> so JJ, that was you, right? So go to that table. Hey, was number five, Robert Borowitz, our live streaming guy. He can win because he made a donation. You won. Go to the table. Last gift card and then the CD. <laughs> Eric Quinn, do you want to win twice? You bought two tickets, yeah? So you won twice. It's not rigged. You can win up to two times, no more than twice. The next person, come forward. Amy Phillips, you won the CD. Do you already have it? Do you already have it? You won it. <laughs> One more round of applause for Shannon and the Kerrville Folk Festival for making their donation. If y'all have any questions about Kerrville, about camping or the lineup, come see me. I've got some flyers and stuff. Uh, let me know. And put a few at our table too. People can pick them up. All right, our next artist is Raina Rose. She was scheduled to play as a duo, but her two of her kids, she told me I could say this, two of her kids are puking. So, she's gonna play solo. How are you guys doing? Yet again, here we find ourselves on Wednesday of South by Agueros with lovely weather, an amazing raffle, Margaritas are flowing, tacos are flowing, as they do. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you, supporting Caritas. You go outside, the leaves are water in the summer night. The air is solid as a butcher knife. The stars are hidden on you, yeah, that's right. You go inside, the floor rises up to greet your steps You get what you got but there's not much left Staring at you in the face is death and that's just Your balance beam, no one's gonna take this away from me No one's taking this away from me From me Talking, spinning fast, slipping down the hourglass. 
running at sunrise running from what you don't recognize and the further you fall away from your fate the harder it hits you in the face and that is a guarantee no one's gonna take this away from me no one's taking this away from me no one's taking this away away Stars are each point of thought spread out into space. Other than love, stories are all we make. We are ships on an endless lake, and the smile lines on your face. No one's gonna take them away. No one's taking them away. No one's taking them away. away. You wake up next to the one you chose so well You got no idea where you are And the colors on the walls themselves In this unfamiliar room Silent lightning on the skyline How far, how far, how far, how far away One, one thousand Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, boom. Thanks. That was, that was a little golf, golf clappy. young I didn't think I didn't look at what you're supposed to see I was made up of twine and sticks wine and whiskey whatever might fix me I was a lion in the city dying of starvation and running in place but I still needed an explanation of what was happening on my own When I was young When I was young I wasn't looking at what I was given Just what I was not It was Thanksgiving And I was omitting I could see nothing of an empty pot I was a liar In the city Dying of exposure Afraid of my roar but I was still trying to see silver linings through a river, a river down When I was young, when I was young. When I was young, 
there was a soldier, shoulders holding the weight of the sky, the sky which is weightless. But I didn't realize the burden I carried was smaller than I. I was lying on an ocean surrounded by golden woven threads and the stars. A course for us, even though they're already dead. Mm. Oh, when I was young. Oh, oh, when I was young. guitar part. You look different in the changing light, distinct persona on the same night, camera obscura, chimera. You look different in the light. You are a master thief. Pretty persona with a lost belief. Looking for an exit from your own bullshit. You look different in the light. And I'm over it. I'm so over it. And I fell for it. I fell for it. I'm over it. I'm so over it. In the light, I got a blinking transmitter. I'm looking for an electric charge, a lightning bolt to set fire to the backyard. And I hate you just a little. I'm halfway home and I'm snake bit, looking for the full moon, looking for the antenna. years ago right after I had my first kid and we lived in a 500 square foot shanty on the East 9th which would now cost you $750,000 but uh, at the time in 2011 it was $700 a month rent and the guy who built the house had taken his wheelbarrow to the tombstone yard and collected all the tombstone seconds and had built his porch out of a mosaic of misspelled names and incorrect dates. 
it was very macabre. But I, we enjoyed it. We lived in that little house for a year, and then we found somewhere that uh, was a little less tinesy. <laughs> it was uh, two houses down from the railroad track, and whenever the train went by, the whole house shook. It was amazing. <clears throat> it was a good time. I had silk and sparrow's wings. I hung onto the diesel train. Marrow clean of any words dripped from my lips your name. I've been strong as summer, and I've been weak as winter. Lost in the cross and found as a sinner. Mm -hmm. made to cry and man is made to sin swing wide the gates and come back in tiny child sweet sweat and dreams asleep against your mama's breast never more a fosterling come home carry your family's crest i've been strong summer and I've been weak as winter lost in the cross and found as a sinner mm -hmm. oh no 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 woman's made to cry and man is made to sin swing wide the gates and come back in change, no gain, and no lack. I've been strong as summer, and I've been weak as winter, lost in the cross and found as a sinner. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 woman's made to cry, man is made to sin, swing wide the gates and come back in, swing wide and come back in Swing wide the gates and come back in Thanks. Used to be just a dog and me Driving circles around the country Pulling over every monument Scribbling lines on how the past is when Heartbroken cause of my own steps Looking for love through every broken fence Falling down every flight of stairs Looking around and I'm hoping love was there We're doing our best we can can do with what we have looking for a little mercy raising up a little family making out in the garden at night i like better in the evening light homemade bread with honey could use a little more money we're doing our best we can You still belong even when you're completely wrong we're doing the best we can making do with what we have looking for a little mercy raising up a little family making out in the garden at night i look better in the evening light homemade bread with honey could use a little
Jumpsuit. <laughs> I, yeah, I do want to hang out with <laughs> Laura, where's where am I at for time? Laura? Laura? Joanna, do you have the time? Do you have an announcement? Should I make an announcement? I have 12 minutes. That's not the announcement. There's a new Kerrville auction. Two tickets to Kerrville. So I grew up in Portland, Oregon, which is a very nice place that very few people ever get out of. And uh, I came to Austin because I had heard tell about the Kerrville Folk Festival, which is an 18 day long, um, just juggernaut of a festival where uh, it's cool to be a songwriter. And uh, I had never experienced that before. So I flew down not knowing a single person and I, the, within a half hour I had 100 friends. And uh, it's a really great, uh, place that so you should come check out the, the is it a raffle or it's an auction there is a raffle though too right there's you don't oh so the raffle you have to be present to win for correct but the the auction you do not have to be present to win so you could be just completely high right now and that's fine that's not what she means is it So many things I never finished, I know I told you I would. And the lights of the stars, they were diminished, thinking I never could feel that free. Every word I ever 
And I'm going to sing, oh, two more. <laughs> I really appreciate you hanging out with me for a slow set of dour folk songs. I really appreciate it. It's a far cry from the rock and roll we just heard, which was awesome. But uh, I tried once to play loud music, and it didn't feel right. So now I don't do that.
quick one. This is my love song to springtime and flowers and <laughs> one more. Yes, last one. Go check out Laura. She's a wonderful person and she's raffling things off and auctioning things off to support Caritas who uh, help the houseless community in Austin. So please uh, open your pockets and grab some raffle tickets. You can win some folk potions, which is my company where we make herb infused salve and oils and soaps and everything. So check out Folk Potions and go win the raffle. You, I think it's a magic face oil and a salve. It's really nice. I promise to be kind. I promise to start now. I will barter your sorrow for the sun somehow. joining us at Guerra's today. Thanks to Laura for being such a stalwart friend. go to folkpotions.com I'm guessing she has these amazing 
body butters, uh, salves, oils. I use, I'm addicted to two of them, at least, maybe three. <laughs> and there's two more of those left in the raffle. Uh, I just want to let you know how important your support is. Without support like yours, no matter the amount, it goes to a very effective and efficient organization. 97% of the clients that we serve do not return to homelessness. That is the highest housing stability rate in the United States. So go Caritas, go Austin. Thank you, Joe Catherine. We're going to do six. Uh, I'm gonna, we're going to do six. Joanne is going to count for six um, raffle cards. Here, I mean, six. Uh, you know what I mean. Here we go. Number one. All right. All right. Mark Berthon. Berthon. I don't know. It sounds French. Mark Berthon. Mark Berthiam, are you here? I don't know how to, Jamie, can you help me with the mic? Mark, are you here? Turn around and go to that table and pick out a gift card. That's perfect. All right, number two. Aaron Stewart, are you still here? You won, turn around and go to the table. Number three. All right, Shannon Holt, are you here? Oh, Shannon not only got her organization to donate tickets to the Kerrville Folk Festival, but she made a donation and for the raffle. Thank you. Number four, Robert Borowitz, you won again. Lucky dog. Number five. Shannon, you want twice. Do you want to win? Do you want to get twice or do you want to forfeit one? Okay, Amy Sue, you won for, she gave it to you. She, Shannon gave you hers. <laughs> All right, last one, number six. Number six. <laughs> okay, uh... Lauren Gingrich, Lorraine Gingrich, I can't read it. Larian Gingrich, L-A-R-I-A-I-N, Gingrich. Are you still here? Larian, Larian? Larian, Larian, going once. Elizabeth Brooke. Elizabeth Brooke, I've known since third grade. She won! You won! That's our last of this raffle. All right, everyone, stick around for Jamie Harris. After her, we'll do another round. Don't forget about the Kerrville Folk Fest auction going on. Everybody, thanks for coming out for such a great cause. I'm so happy to be here for South by South Soup Fest. We're going to have some fun. My name is Jamie Harris, and these are my friends, and we're going to play some songs for y'all. Thanks for coming out. Trying to call him back on my friends. They've been wondering where I've been. I went off the deep end. This time it was a good sound. I've been
you so much. I'm going to let my friend Brian Patterson over there on the guitar kick off this next song. to hang out with me because he's related to me. That's my brother, Robbie Harris, over there from the Irons. And uh, I was talking about the criminal justice system, low-bottom alcoholism, intergenerational addiction, upbeat topics you want to talk about under the sun, you know. I was talking about that at 9 o'clock in the morning in a van with a guy named Dirk Powell who's been in Joan Baez's band for many years. And uh, Dirk and I started writing the song. We were writing the song in this beautiful Acadian church in Lafayette, Louisiana, and it started to feel like the devil wanted to make an appearance in the song. And we didn't want to put the devil in the song because we're in this beautiful church. And so uh, Dirk is a scholar of folk music from all over the world. And he said in Irish music, they use this character called the fair and dark haired lad to represent the insidious nature of alcoholism. 
And so that's what we ran with. And a lot of crazy stuff happened with this song, including Miley Cyrus, the thing with her, but I don't have time to get into that right now. But my favorite thing was that the organist at Fenway Park played it in, on the organ in between innings. We'll lay it on you now. You can let me know how psyched you think it would get you for a baseball game. But here we go. This is the fair and dark haired lab.
here that's wearing a great shirt so I know he's gonna answer yes to this question but are you guys familiar with a singer songwriter cultural icon named Woody Guthrie have you guys here heard of him okay cool. yeah 
Well, um, if you can imagine it, the folk singer appearing before you today had not heard of Woody Guthrie until like nine years ago. And for a long time I was wondering why that was, and I think I figured it out, and it is that a lot of kids at least learn some of the verses of This Land Is Your Land in school. Not a part of the curriculum where we all grew up in a Waco, Texas, so. And I just want to acknowledge I've said Waco, Texas like 10 times, and no one has felt compelled to clap for Waco, Texas, <laughs> which is normal. And once I got into Woody Guthrie, I started going to the Woody Guthrie Center in Tulsa, which holds his archives, and I was really blown away by seeing all of the verses of This Land Is Your Land in Woody's handwriting. And the verse that really got me is what I call the steeple verse. Just in case they didn't teach it to y'all either, or there's a secret Waco in out there who didn't clap. It goes in the shadow of the steeple, I saw my people. By the relief office, I saw my people. They stood there hungry, and so I stood there asking, was this land made for you and me? And that blew my mind because there's an interstate that runs right through my hometown, town I-35. And on the east side of the interstate, there's a steeple from the seminary. And on the west side, there's a Caritas Relief Office and a Salvation Army. And the interstate creates a bridge, and there's been a community of people living underneath that bridge ever since I can remember. So when I saw those words that Woody wrote, I saw my hometown. And I call where I grew up a boomerang town, and we put this song out on a record that came out last year called Boomerang Town. We made it right here in Austin, Texas, at the Congress House studio with our wonderful friend, Mark Hallman. I was working at the supermarket when I fell for Julie, knocked her up. Turn. 
guys so much. Thank you so much to Laura Thomas for having us combo plate booking some of my all-time favorite songwriters in the world. into instead of music business it is about giving back to this community right here in Austin Texas thanks you thanks for being a part of it we are super excited to be a part of it I got a couple uh, uh, CDs and a boomerang town um, tote bag in the raffle and um, I've also got some stuff back there I'd be happy to sign for you and talk to you and you got some new t-shirts inspired by this song um, I got invited to be on the Outlaw Country Cruise in January, Woo! February maybe, and I had a blast, but it's been about 10 years since I've been an outlaw, so I felt like I had to do something tough, so I came up with a tough tattoo t-shirt for the Outlaw Cruise. Oh, and she's going to Ed McMahon this. Here's the record that Mark Hallman produced. It's called Boomerang Town. Oh, wow, and that's the shirt. This is, wow, this is full circle. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much, Jenna. I was driving past a tattoo shop in uh, North Florida, and it, it was called Tattoo Zoo. And I thought it might make for a cool song, and so like any songwriter would, I pulled the car over, and I wanted to see what was going on in Tattoo Zoo, but it was a Monday, and that meant they were closed, but I'd just seen an amazing film about the work and the life of Gordon Lightfoot. And in the film, he says, they ask him near the end, Gordon, how did you write all of those songs? And he said, well, I guess I imagined them. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get y'all in Austin to believe it. Those college boys in the corner, I've each waiting their turn for a symbol. They think we'll buy them for eternity. But it means so much more to the young man on scholarship who never had belong to him.
my brother Robbie Harris on the guitar. And the only two people on this stage brave enough to say yes, I will be your roommate, Chris Nelson on the bass and vocals. And Jane Ellen Bryant, Jane's in an amazing band called Jane Leo. You absolutely gotta check them out. We're so honored to be a part of this deal. And um, I live in Nashville now and I really miss being in Austin. So thank you guys for everything that you're doing. Thanks to Caritas, thanks Laura. This is just so awesome to be a part of and to be playing right before Shelly. Oh my freaking God, that's like, <laughs> I'm gonna write about it in my diary. Um, I was gonna go to Dallas and work in a shoe store. And I was sitting on Barton Springs and a guy pointed in the direction of South Congress and he said, you can move to Dallas, but there's a club down there where James McMurtry plays for twice a week for less than $10. And so four days later, I packed up my car and I moved to Austin, Texas. So since we're on South Congress, I'd love to play a James McMurtry song. <laughs> So nine. I want to introduce two friends from our Austin music community. They both are songwriters here in town, and they're going to tell you about their shows. There's Amethyst, Junkie, and then Beth Lee. So Beth Lee, come first. Hey, my name is Beth Lee. I'm playing Miss Saturday at the Tex Pop uh, Museum of Popular Culture on South uh, Lamar Boulevard. Doing a full band show um, at 1.35 p.m. This Saturday. Hi, my name's Amethyst Jean Key, and I'm doing that same thing, but at like one. <laughs> and then on Saturday, I'm playing at the F Way South Food Park at noon. So, yeah. All right, these are our celebrity guests. They're going to help me draw all of the winning tickets. 
We're gonna take turns. Beth Lee's gonna be first, number one. Bill Stoughton, you won. Turn around. Yeah, get the haircut, dude. Number two. Oh, I, was gonna, I forgot I was gonna alternate. I'll do that next. <laughs> Mitch N. Mitch N. You won! You can turn around and go to that table. All right, we'll pick Amethyst, number three. <laughs> Teresa Corsutens. Teresa Corsutens. Teresa? You won! Go to the table! Number four. I've been miscounting. We have a lot of prizes left. <laughs> All right, Robin Fremont, are you here? Robin Fremont. Robin Fremont, going once. Robin Fremont, not here. Robin, nope. We're still on four. Nadine, Nadine Tolj. You won! You could go to that table. Number five. <laughs> All right. Pam Burchill. Pam Burchill. Hey, where are you? Pam, Pam, Pam. <laughs> All right. Six. Elizabeth Nichols. Elizabeth Nichols. Elizabeth Nichols. I've known since first grade, and she was sitting right by my table a minute ago. <laughs> She's there. Elizabeth Nichols, you won. All right. Number seven. You can win twice. Elizabeth, you won twice. Give one to your husband. You won two times. Twice. Sorry, this is very painful for me as well. Okay. What is it? This is number nine. Teresa. She wasn't here earlier, right? You're Teresa Corsentine? Corsentine? Teresa Corsentine? Teresa Corsentine. Who's saying you go, girl? <laughs> no, she never picked. Number nine never showed up. One more. Nadine, you won twice. Nadine, where'd she go? Oh, will you go tell Nadine she won twice? She's at the table. <laughs> All right. Amethyst is going to go tell Nadine she won twice, and Beth is going to help me pick all the Jamie stuff. All right, Heiko. Heiko, you won a tote bag. Heiko, are you still here? He always wins every year. He's gone. <laughs> Mary Gilmore, Mary Gilmore, are you still here? Mary Gilmore, Mary Gilmore, going once, twice. <laughs> We're gonna run out. <laughs> yeah, man. It's gonna be All right, Carol B. You won the tote bag. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, next person, you're going to win a CD. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Robin Fremont, are you here? Come forward. Robin, 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 Robin. <laughs> Did she win? 
what she did she show up a minute ago? Carol B. You won the CD. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket. You caught. Mitch, are you still here, Mitch? You want a CD? This time, come up forward. All right, we're gonna do that again in a little bit. Amethyst has a correction. I'm playing the text pop thing on Friday at 1:35. My bad. My mom texted me because she's watching the live stream. Thank you, mom. Love you. All right, thank you for Beth Lee and Amethyst Junkie for being our celebrity guests. Did you by chance have a CD for the raffle? And if you don't, did you already give it to them? I did not, but I will give it to you right now. Okay, cool. So don't forget, most of the musicians playing here tonight are selling CDs, T-shirts, so go back and check it out. All right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Wero's Oak Garden. What a great day we're having. How about Jamie, how about Jamie Harris, yes. Woo! So good, so good. Great day of music. Y'all ready to go? All right, I'm Shelly King. I got my friends here. Let me introduce everybody. Marvin Dykehouse on the bass, y'all. Perry Drake on the drums. And Mac McNabb on lead guitar. Hey, on this song, I'm gonna need all my dogs to howl. Don't be shy. Yeah.
some guitar in the drum wedge and make sure that that's not going to feed back. We good? I think we're good with that.
single off of this record and um, I've got a video out for it you can go to YouTube and just search search for Shelly King time means nothing and you'll see some cool time travel time means nothing doesn't matter doesn't matter don't even look at your watch doesn't matter that's all right all right need a little more time well we've got forever there's no now and never we've got forever there's no now and never close the curtains draw the blinds doesn't matter if it's day or night turn off the phone just us alone now baby we'll leave the world Track now. 
title track to my new record is called Madam Mystic. Madam Mystic is the name of the fortune teller at the fair. You know the one that's in that tent? You're wondering what's going on in there? I think you just got roped in. Prepare, she's gonna tell you your fortune. And it might be awesome. Probably will be. Mystic will begin to see your truth in the stars, visions in her tarot cards. Don't try, 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 try to move on. Catch the moves, light the flame. Don't believe I caught your name. Seated in her velvet chair, pulled into the gypsy slayer. Don't try, 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 try to move on. Hey, lady, look into my eyes. Tell me I'll be blessed. Success, sugar pie, honey bunch. Let me take you out to lunch. Fortune teller told you so. Said you better let it go. And try, 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 try to move on. Too long. Too long. 
Open. 
awesome. Everybody hang out and party down. It's a great night here on South Congress. Thanks, Laura, for putting this together. Great, great, great cause. Caritas is a wonderful charity. All right, y'all, we're going to wrap it up with this. This is a song I wrote with my friend Marsha Ball. This is called Hurricane Party. On my album, uh, Marsha's doing a verse, and also Delbert McClinton's doing a verse. So uh, I'll do both of their verses for y'all tonight. All right, cool.
Center of nothing, but in the middle of. 
you were lost to another in a world of green and gold and I was digging in the earth for things unknown that's how it goes sometimes that's how it We were dirty little children But we did not seem to care That the clothes we wore were torn They were free and threadbare So we stole our every pleasure In the space between the need And we raised our heads High enough to find a way with which to leave. But that's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. I saw a broken black umbrella Just like a fallen newborn bird Lying in the street Just as useless as a song unheard Somehow I knew it would be you You would chew the fattest plum Just leave the skin See there for me when you were done. But that's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. How it goes sometimes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Sometimes that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Sometimes it's how it Thanks a lot. This is uh, Gumby, Mark Williams on the cello over here. You gotta say hello to Gumby. Foster mate is not with us this time. I thought about doing an all uh, Matthew Electrician set. Um, I'll, I'll
electrified. But um, not that nah. <laughs> um, yeah. But we're wishing Matt well. He's out on the road, and uh, we uh, we miss him being here today. But uh, he'll be back. Your faith is a child and it's been left out in the cold With a face to the glass to see the light it longs to know But you're hanging on just the same To the one distant voice in the night that calls out Swollen, they've gone all gone metal gray. But I'll shine like a dime sacrificed on a track for a train. And I've seen those that run hard and those that try hard not to run. And I saw men with the guts to fly too close. You are where you are. You are where you are. Meant to be.
is Jeremy Minking on the lap steel. Thank you all so much. You guys, what I'm talking. Welcome Beaver Nelson up to the stage. This is Beaver Nelson, everybody.
Nelson. We'd like to, as everyone has and everyone should, thank Laura Thomas for putting this together. For 20 years she's been doing this. It is the uh, antithesis of what's currently being explained. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not gonna go on a rant. It is the antithesis of what um, is happening now in a lot of ways, where she is uh, all about giving. And um, if you, I know the bucket's gone around a lot of times, but if you still got something you can throw in there, it would be greatly appreciated to help uh, Caritas Boston feed people and care for people that uh, are unhoused. All right. summer and you flew the first day of fall and the sun casts no shadow but your light revealed all of As the days, as they bleed into the nights, and all of the edges, well, I swear they're growing darker. Yeah, but the center of your sparkle heart is burning bright. Fire to metal. Yeah, tonight. Fire to
you are the only The only thing that saves me When it all, when it all, when it all, when it all just proves too much There's no greater pain and there's no greater You guys okay? Yeah. Not that you have to be, but you're all right. It's uh, fair to visit.
to Kerrville Folk Festival for two people. Any weekend of your choice? And the Kirkups. And the Kirkups. Kirklips. And maybe a Kirkup, because you gotta have your Kirkup. It's all right there. Okay. Okay, come ask Laura for her uh, clarification on that mangled gerbil of nothingness that I just threw out there. Yeah. All right. Thank you all so much for listening. Thanks again to Laura and John and everybody that's been back there volunteering, helping all day today. Thanks to all the bands, incredible artists that have played all day today, um, and uh, everyone that's hung out. And thank you to Gueros for hosting this. Always, always, always. We thank you so much. And to our sound folks that have been here down there again. Thank you guys as well. All right.
Bass in the cello, Jeremy making on the guitar, and Nathan Hamilton. Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. If you want to bid, we're going to close it after I do with all this. So thanks for everyone. A lot of you have been donating all night on this QR code, so thank you. I keep getting my phone gets getting pinged, so thank you all for doing that and for being here. We're, we have seven gift cards. Sorry, we have nine, but two of them for, for a hairstylist. So, I don't know if everyone wants, John, I know, wants the hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> All the bald guys can do, you can do it. Anyway, so I'm not sure how to, so I'm going to call seven, and then if you donated and you want, you live in town and you want to get your hair cut, it's this really sweet woman who cuts hair on Anderson Lane. So, we're going to do seven, and then a CD, and then if you didn't win, you want a haircut, go back there. Number one. <laughs> Just, I know it's painful. Just, it's almost over. <laughs> Charlie Mansfield. Charlie Mansfield. Everybody, look at him and see what his hair looks like when he walks out. He has good. He told me he cuts his own hair and he would not take the barber. Like shop. I said, everybody, look at his hair when he walks. <laughs> Number two. You're good at this. <laughs> you can do it. Nick Oliver. You won! Go to the table! If you live in town, consider the haircut. But you don't have to. All right. Nathan's not wearing his glasses. What are we going to do with the rest of these? We have, dude, we have, we have so many more. we have to go through all of these? No, we have, we're on number three. We have seven. There's like 20 in here. <laughs> okay. Just look at Joanna. Chris Griffin Erickson, are you here? You won! Go to the table! Number four. Get the haircut. <laughs> Get the haircut. But you don't have to. <laughs> what is that? You won, man. Jeremy Minking wins. You must have bought a ticket. Did you buy him a ticket? <laughs> this is rigged. You want a gift card. He wanted the haircut. That's all I know. <laughs> she does beards. She does beards. She does beards, too. She does. <laughs> You're going to get a waxing. All right. This, this is. What are we on? Five? Gumby. Number five. Read that one. Are you really going to get that? Oh, God. It's old, guys. She Laura. Does. Nathan forgot his glasses. Anais oh, Stevens. Anais yeah. Stevens. You won. Go on over to that table. Oh, your friends put you in. What are we at? Number six? Okay, thank you. Number six. Joanna Castillo, you won. Is this like number six for you today? All right. Get the haircut. You want the haircut? <laughs> All right. One more seven, and then we're going to do a CD. It's nighttime, and I'm wearing my sunglasses, so yes, this is Corey Hart. What other songs did he have a hit with? <laughs> See? Doesn't Come on, matter. Nathan. You're losing the crowd. Everyone's I'm, leaving. That happened a while ago. <laughs> Millie, Chris, Crystal. Cri Millie. Melly, you, you won. won! All right, next person, come forward, and you're going to get a CD. What do I do with this? Give it to me. <laughs> All right. Jeremy Minking. For real? He doesn't want the CD. I'm not giving Jeremy the CD. Who put five on. of these in here? His friends. James Tatter. You, you are a winner. You want a CD. So you, mister, come up here and get this rock and roll CD from Nathan. This rock and roll CD. <laughs> All right, so... We still probably, unless someone else picked a haircut, if, we're done. If you want a haircut, go back there and just say you want it. Thanks, everybody. Laura Thomas, you guys. Give it up. Putting this on to every year, 20 years. 20 giving years. back to the community in a really, really big way. All right. And not just today, but all year long. All right.